My name is uh, Fook Din. I go by Andy here. But uh, I went top eight at the, was it Carta Magica? Yeah. Carta Magica Regional on Sunday with Sakazuki. Uh, still playing in such nets. And yeah, this is my deck profile. So we'll start with Fort Chi. I know a lot of people have been cutting it to three, but I think just like the consistency of deck's too good. Running four Searcher. Uh, running four brand new, pretty standard. Running eight two Ks. Uh, just cutting the cheeks for Virgos like everyone else. Running four Gecko. I'm running two Helmepo. I know a lot of lists are cutting this down to one as well, but I think uh, against Gecko and against the Mirror, it's really important to have the Helmepo Luchi combo. And then if you don't have this in trash, you can't pop two bodies. So I think you need to run two. Uh, and then this gets into the weirder stuff. I am running two Borsa. I think this card is not as good as everyone thinks. It's only good on curve against Gecko, and I only played one during the like during the regional. But everything else taps it down, and I think this card is actually so much better. I think Sabo, I upped it to two. I was running one at Nats and one for the first like week and a half of OP6. And I think this card against every other every matchup is good against Gecko is good. Can't get tapped down. Need it. Uh, running two Borsa seven costs. Uh, a lot of people running one or even none. I think this card is very good in the mirror, and I think it's okay into Gecko if you play it, because uh, it's going into their eight down turn, they have to Ice Age and Absalom it, which means they can't play uh, can't play their Gecko. And again, in the mirror going first is very good, because you establish a big body that can like deal damage every turn, and this is very important into the Raju matchup as well, that you need you need a body base to do damage every turn. So that's why you need like the Gecko and the big body of Orsa. Uh, I'm running two Kuzan. Uh, a lot of people are cutting Kuzan, but I think it's very good to yellow, playable off Gecko, so you need it. And this is where it gets a little weirder. I'm running three Rebecca, three Luchi, and three Hina. I think last set you ran four of each just because, again, you need like the, your win con in the mirrors like Rebecca, Hina, Luchi, and like that's the, your major 10 Don play. But now that you have Gecko, that's not always your play at like 8 Don, 10 Don, that kind of thing. So I guess just running three copies, I didn't really miss it all day. I think one game I didn't have a Luchi in trash and it was a little bit weird, but I think going forward I'd still keep this ratio. Maybe cut one card for Luchi, but Tina and Rebecca would keep the same. And then for events, it's pretty standard. I'm going four Eruption, two Ice Age, uh, four Hound Blaze, and then one of the Lightsaber. Uh, I, I don't think I've changed any of the uh, event count. I think a lot of people have been trying to change into three Ice Age and like three Eruption, but I think this is fine because they're all searchable from Toshigi. And yeah. How'd the matchups go? What's your worst matchup? Uh, I started the day playing a mirror and I lost. So that was uh, the f first round, which was Sokka Mirror. Uh, I went, I believe I went second and I just, uh, I stopped the board, but then he just cheated out game by using like uh, Great Eruption, Great Eruption. Double Helm Blaze and swung like 6, 7, 7 per game and I had no counter. But I think this next hardest matchup is probably Yamato or Gecko. I think the, I think the Mirror isn't as skilled it was, as it was before, whereas now it's more like who draws more Geckos. And I only played against one Saka. I played against five Katakuris and I think the matchup is a little bit on the easier side as long as they don't trigger Onami. I don't think, uh, I think of all my five Katakuri matches all day, no one triggered Onami and it was fine. You just keep them at two life. Uh, play around until you have the, a big board and then when they play their mob to heal them back to three You just have to go for game and then if they don't trigger usually it's fine If they trigger it's a little bit unlucky like I played at the 4-1 regional on Saturday went, went x2 pretty quick as just got triggered and lost uh, Into the I think I think rage is a little bit difficult if you don't have removal if you don't have all the ice ages as if they play the the seven drop into the swing seven seven that you kind of die pretty quickly and you can't swing into their board because you don't have any big attackers and they just counter out of everything. Uh, other than that, I think everything else is pretty, pretty easy. I would say I first two Yamatos in the round nine and 10, which is a little bit uh, scary, but into that matchup, again, because I'm not playing Borsa, I, I just establish a Sabo, keep all 2K counters and it's usually okay. And then round 10, I played against the wall version, which I think that uh, Sokka's favorite into. And he didn't really see Hody or any, uh, like, any rush, so it was a little bit easier, yeah. Uh, any things you change to the list now playing it? Uh, I think maybe because of all the, I think everyone's gonna play Gecko. Like it's very, it's a very consistent deck. Uh, maybe I put Borsa up to three, and I think that's the only uh, like matchup where I'm missing it. I did have it on curve against the Gecko I played, and I feel like that kind of makes the matchup a little bit more favored. 
Because it can't get popped. Because uh, if you establish a Kuzan or something else and they play Eruption and then pop it with the Absalon, you're kind of behind like for the rest of the game. So maybe bumping that up and cutting a, a Kuzan or a Helmeppo. But I'm not too sure as I like everything with the deck right now. And it's just so tight you need to fit everything in. That's why we're throwing three copies of a lot of key cards. Do you think this deck is still the pick for the current meta or Gecko looks better? Uh, I mean, I just got whooped by Gecko like today a bunch of times in a row. But I think, again, like Sakazuki's 10 Dawn. Once you get to 10 Dawn, the, the deck is so good. And you can do so, much, so many things, so many options. Like Gecko's 10 Dawn turn without Gecko Moria, like the Aatrox character, it's very weak. Like Saxon, we at least have other options to bottom deck multiple cards and like cycle every turn. So it's just very consistent. And I think you have a lot more uh, agency in the Katakuri matchup, which a lot of people are playing as well. Like I at least have control when I go for game. I can clear bodies every turn. Well, if I play Gecko, I kind of have to pray they don't hit triggers and I have to rush them out at a point where I don't have the same removal and bottom decking ability that Sock has. Cool. Any shout outs you want to do? Yeah. Uh, I'd say shout out ETB, the best store. And of course, uh, shout out my wife for uh, always just being chill while I'm going out to play cards. Sure. Shout out Card Ape uh, for topping the regional on Saturday. Yeah, shout out all the boys from Toronto. Uh, great testing partners, and I'm glad uh, everyone's back.